So today I will be sharing with you two garments that I have made and the first one is Berta 6249 and this is the garment. This fabric is some fabric that I purchased earlier this year from a local fabric shop in my area and I really like this fabric. It's kind of thick and it has a little pattern to it so I like that. And I held on to this because I wasn't sure what I wanted to make with it. But when I saw this Berta pattern, I thought that this would be perfect. Now, I did make a few changes. There are supposed to be some cuffs on this sleeve area. So it had, it called for a facing and the facing was supposed to hang out and then you fold it in. So my plan was to make a white belt, which I did do because it has a little tie on the side which you can't tell from the model when in her picture you don't see the tie but it does show on the side of her that there is a tie there so I put the white tie and then my plan was to put the white cuff at the sleeve and I did do that however the sleeve was really long on me so when I added the cuff it hung way past my uh, fingertips I couldn't even you know even if I folded it up it was this part that was too long so I ended up taking the cuff off and then I had to take off about three I think it's a little over three inches off of the arm the sleeve because it was just way 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 too long so I was left with a white belt and if I ever make this again I may just leave the belt off I've been wearing this and I find that I like it most worn with the belt tied closed um, but the way the model is wearing it is the way I really really like it. So one thing I really like about this pattern is um, there are big pockets on the sides and I really like that they are so big. So yeah there's one on each side so they're not in the front they're actually really on the side of the garment so I do like that and it was really simple to put together for a Berta pattern. I didn't have any trouble at all. Now on the pattern envelope this garment is described as a coat but for me it didn't feel like a coat and it didn't feel like a cardigan. It felt like a coat again. So I thought I was making up a word. I was like okay coat again I'll go with it so I looked it up online and actually coat again is a thing this is what I call my coat again so it's like a coat slash cardigan situation so yeah that's what I'm going with so you will see in the video clip how it looks when it's worn open and yeah if I ever make this again I will definitely leave the um, belt off or either just make the belt the same as the fabric and then it won't look out or it won't stand out so so much um, but the back is pretty plain and I did search the seams on the inside and what else that's it it's really simple it ties on the side and that's all to it so I will go ahead and show you what that looks like Um, the last thing that I wanted to share with you is this top that I'm wearing. I bought so much of this striped fabric. I was actually able to make three garments out of this fabric and this is the last one. So I used Simplicity 1325 and I made the little t-shirt pattern on the, I believe it's on the top. And yeah, this is how it turned out. So I really, really like it. Okay, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So some freshwater pearls or saltwater pearls are sterilized in boiling water and then they are milled into a fine powder. And then that powder is used for many different things, including being added to water, tea, or smoothies as an example. And then people will ingest this pearl powder for the health benefits. Can you believe that? I have heard of clutching your pearls, but I've never heard of eating them. So yes, I thought that that was so interesting. And also it is sold on Amazon if you'd like to order some. Cause I learned that and I thought you might like to know about it too. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back in the next video.